An oscillator is simply something that moves back and forth, or even simpler, something that oscillates. Thank you, Captain Obvious. In our context, it's a device that's used to create oscillating electric voltage or current. So I'll try to make this video slower and easier to digest than my other video because lots of people apparently didn't like my new business. Well, sorry for that. Anyway, let's say you want to have a super simple circuit that turns something, for example, LED on and off, the so-called blink, or you just want to learn some basic electronics, you are in the right place. Just follow this video. I found out that you can build a very simple and probably the simplest oscillator in the world with only three components, not including the power supply. Yes, three components. Here's what you need. A 1 kilo ohm resistor, a BC547 transistor, and a capacitor to your liking. I'll recommend a capacitor with the value of about 150 microfarad. Well, that's the oscillator. If you want to blink an LED, you surely need an LED. For me, I use a standard 5mm LED. So, let's start the build. You will have to connect the component like so. One end of the resistor connects to the positive side of the capacitor if your capacitor has a polarity like mine. If no, just connect it whichever way you like it to be. Then at that connection too, connect the positive pin of the LED. The positive pin is usually the longer pin. If you are not sure, take a look at the LED closely. There's this big side and the small side. The smaller side is usually the positive side. The bigger one is the negative side. Back again, connect the other pin of the LED to the emitter pin of the transistor and the collector pin of the transistor to the negative pin of the capacitor. And that's it. You can connect an at least 12 volt power supply, positive to the one of the resistor pin, negative to the negative side of the capacitor. So there you go. You can have your blinky flashy LED in less than 2 minutes. So it's working now. What's the trick behind this? Well, here's what happened. When you power the circuit on, the power will flow through the wires, then it'll pass through the resistor and slowly charge the capacitor. There's nothing flowing through the LED nor transistor right now, since this part of the circuit is basically an open circuit now. Until, here's the fun part. The capacitor will charge slowly until it reaches a certain voltage point where the transistor becomes conductive. And when it does, this part of the circuit went from an open circuit to an almost closed circuit. This is a simplified explanation by the way. And so, the capacitor discharged, turning the LED on, until the capacitor reaches a certain low voltage where the transistor is no longer conductive, so LED turned off, and the capacitor charged again. The cycle repeats, hence the oscillation. So how to change the speed of the oscillation? Just remember, the bigger the capacitor, the lower the frequency. So it looks blinky at 150 microfarad, but if I replace it with a 47 nanofarad capacitor, you won't be able to see the blink because it's too fast and you can only look at the oscillation in the oscilloscope. As you see, it's about 15.6 kHz for 47 nanofarad. Can we go faster? This is a capacitor with the smallest value I have laying around, about 3 nanofarad. And with this, the frequency is about 40 kilohertz. We should be able to go faster, but I never tried because who needs anything that fast anyway? So what can you do with this? Well, turning an LED on and off was just for fun. But if you connect a speaker, you can have a super simple tone generator. I replaced the LED with a speaker and play around with the capacitor value. This is at 2200 microfarad. And here it is with a 10 microfarad capacitor. Change the resistor with a variable one, and now I can adjust the tone. Here it is with a 1 microfarad capacitor. And that's it for this video. This project is great because it's circuit simplicity. Take a moment to click that subscribe button for more videos to come, share this video if you think it's worth to share, or do anything to appreciate this work. As always, have a good day and I'll see you next time.